Before we get to today's picks, I want to clarify something. I have noticed queries about why I've begun discussing stock fundamentals, news, and other non-technical details in these daily videos, despite this channel's focus on quantitative trading. Let me clarify our algorithm for selecting daily oversold stocks established in 2019 remains unchanged. So why the new layer of commentary? The answer lies in a blend of curiosity and a deeper search for understanding. Over the years, I have always wondered about the stories behind the stocks picked by our algorithm. How do these selections, which we might only hold for 24 hours, fit into the broader market narrative? What can they tell us about market behaviors and trends? I have always seen each of our daily picks as a character. This exploration stems from a desire to delve deeper into the characters behind our daily picks. For years, I have been eager to understand the context around these daily picks, their dynamics at play, and the factors influencing these picks. It's about reverse engineering these picks through a conventional analysis lens. By exploring fundamentals and news, I aim to learn more about my daily picks and um, in the process, video journal it. The goal is to satisfy my curiosity, offer a richer view of market dynamics and who knows, potentially uncover insights and patterns that could inform new strategies when we do a retrospective at some point. And by sharing it with my followers, I aim to foster a community of learning and exploration. I hope this reassures you that our commitment to our quantitative foundation is unwavering. Today's pick number one is DAVA. Endava specializes in technology services and consulting. The oversold status of DAVA can be attributed to a mix of recent financial results and strategic decisions that have likely influenced investor sentiment. In Q2 FY 2024, there was a noticeable decline in net cash from operating activities and adjusted free cash flow compared to the same period in the previous year. Additionally, there was a slight reduction in the number of significant clients and changes in revenue distribution by geography and industry vertical. Despite these short-term challenges, Endeva's strategic initiatives, including the acquisition of Galaxy Group to expand its North American presence and deepen its expertise in the U.S. healthcare market, alongside a lucrative deal with Equinity, signal a focus on long-term growth and diversification. These factors, combined with cautious revenue and EPS guidance for FY 2024, may have contributed to the perception of the stock being oversold. Today's pick number two is ABAT. American Battery Technology explores, recycles, and produces battery metals. The perception of ABAT as oversold may be influenced by various factors, including operational progress such as the start of operations at its lithium-ion battery recycling facility in Nevada and strategic financial moves like the filing for a $150 million mixed securities shelf. Despite these positive developments, increased short interest and a significant decline in stock price from $4.69 at the beginning of the year to $2.11 suggest a complex market sentiment. Moreover, institutional ownership by major players like Vanguard Group Inc. indicates underlying investor confidence, presenting a multifaceted view of the stock's current market position. Today's pick number three is IRWD. 
Ironwood Pharmaceuticals develops gastrointestinal healthcare medications. IRWD appears to be considered oversold due to a combination of mixed results from its gastrointestinal drug trial and a miss in its Q4 2023 earnings expectations. Although the company announced positive outcomes from its Phase 3 STARS trial for apoglutide in treating short bowel syndrome with intestinal failure, the failure of its gastrointestinal drug to significantly aid a patient subgroup led to a sharp decline in its share price, erasing a 38% gain. The earnings miss further exacerbated investor concerns, with reported earnings per share falling short of expectations. Today's pick number four is WDAY. Workday Inc. provides human capital and financial management software solutions. WDAY appears to be oversold due to a combination of its recent earnings report and strategic decisions. Despite surpassing earnings expectations and announcing the acquisition of Hired Score to enhance AI capabilities, Workday's stock fell after merely meeting revenue forecasts and announcing the AI deal, which might have not met the high market expectations. This reaction, coupled with strategic partnerships and significant industry recognition, suggests that the market's response might be more reflective of short-term concerns rather than the company's long-term growth prospects and current achievements. Today's pick number five is BITI. The relationship between BITI and Bitcoin is central to understanding why BITI might be considered oversold. As BITI inversely tracks Bitcoin's performance, its value is expected to decrease when Bitcoin's price rises. Given the recent bullish trend in Bitcoin, driven by factors like increased institutional investment, broader adoption, and economic conditions favoring cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin has seen substantial price increases. This positive momentum for Bitcoin leads to a decreased demand for an ETF like BITI, which profits from Bitcoin's decline. Therefore, the bullish trend in Bitcoin directly impacts BITI, making it potentially oversold as investors shift their interest towards assets that benefit from Bitcoin's appreciation rather than betting against it. This scenario suggests that BITI's perceived oversold condition could stem from the ongoing enthusiasm and positive sentiment in the cryptocurrency market, particularly for Bitcoin, as investors anticipate continued gains rather than declines.